In this video, we're going to be covering the installation of the Easy Stowed Blinginator. So to begin with, make sure that whatever version of CorelDRAW you're going to be installing the Blinginator into is currently closed. And then we want to download the zip file that we provided for you. And then once you've extracted the contents of the zip file, you're going to have a folder that says Easy Stone Blinginator. And what we want to do is open that folder up and in that folder you're going to see two shapes star 1 and star 2 these are the default bling shapes that we provide for you now these could be anything you can create your own you can modify these if you wish um, where you put these doesn't really matter what I would recommend doing is copying the entire easy stone blinginator folder to your program files directory within C drive that's what I would recommend that we do first but in here, there is a bitmap file for creating a shortcut to on our toolbar inside CorelDRAW, which we'll get to. But then we also have the GMS file itself. So to install this file into CorelDRAW, all we're going to do is right click on it and choose copy. And then we're going to go to our C drive. And in my version, I'm using Vista 64-bit, so I'm going to come into Program Files x86. If you aren't using a 64-bit system, you're going to go into the regular Program Files directory. But because I'm using 64-bit, I go into x86. I come to Corel. These are the two versions of CorelDRAW I have installed. And from here, everything's exactly the same. I open up a CorelDRAW folder, come down to my Draw folder, and in there is my GMS folder and I right click and choose paste and that will paste of course I already have it in there but that will paste that macro inside CorelDRAW and that's all there is to installing the macro now once the macro is installed and we restart CorelDRAW we have a couple of options to access that macro here inside CorelDRAW if we come over to the window menu and come down to dockers, there's a function in here, uh, which is our macro docker. So if we come in here to tools and macros, you'll see that we have something that's called a macro manager, which I happen to have open already as a docker right here. So we could access it right here. If we just come down here, you'll see the EST blinginator. And when I double click uh, on this file right here, it will open up the macro and there is the macro and all of its functions and if I close it I can always reopen it whenever I need to and there is the macro again so that's one way to handle that now I can also come under tools and choose macros or excuse me choose customization okay and when I do that then I could come down here to commands um, which is right here and then I want to come down to uh, macros and these are all the different macros that I have installed and then it's just a matter of finding the EST blinginator macro and uh, I can actually drag this to an existing toolbar you can see that there I just drag it right out there is the the uh, little icon for the EST blinginator and then over here on the appearance tab down here I can actually choose a bitmap see there I can go to files and then remember on my desktop I had that uh, EST blinginator and there it is I go ahead and double click on that bitmap and then I can apply that Two, I'll go ahead and drop that in here but I can apply that so when I click on that button it opens up the EST Blinginator that way okay so that's all there is to installing it now once we have it installed of course then we're obviously going to want to use it and that's what we'll do in our next video